What is good YouTube, Warstu here with a video on the Captain Marvel post credit scene and the ending of the movie. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based videos that we do on the channel. And if you want to enter the latest giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and let me know down below who is your favorite superhero or supervillain. And we will be giving away a Hasbo Infinity Gauntlet at the end of March. So careful for spoilers because we are going over the post credit scene and the ending in detail. Now, this isn't just a kind of really quick post credit ending scene video. This is in depth explained because we've watched the movie. We've actually watched the movie. And the second post credit scene, you can't really explain it properly unless you've actually watched the actual movie. So by the time I upload this video, it will be out in most places. It did, did come out yesterday and Wednesday in a lot of different places over the country world. I believe it does come out in America by the time I would have posted this video. So yes, there is an Avengers Endgame post credit scene, kind of. But personally, I think it's a fake scene. Why? Because if you actually watch the Captain Marvel movie, you would realize that Brie Larson in, the, in this scene looks very different to how she looked during her own movie. And the post credit scene is literally like five to ten minutes after the, the credits have laid out. So I don't even think this was filmed at the same time the movie was filmed. I think this post credit scene was shot quite recently. And also, Chris Evans, okay, he's not the biggest guy, but during his first movie, he was hen In this scene, damn, he looks smaller. He looks really small. He looks like he's lost a lot of muscle. Kind of looks skinny fat. So there's a lot of appearances differences in these two characters. So essentially at the end of Avengers Infinity War, Nick Fury used the pager. I mean, you can't even explain this scene because unless you've really watched the Captain Marvel movie, you don't even know when Nick Fury gets the pager. So essentially there is a scene in this movie when Captain Marvel modifies the pager, she took off Nick Fury earlier in the movie. She modifies it and she's like, call me if you need me. But only, only if you really need me. So this scene starts with Black Widow and Captain America looking at the pager that Nick Fury left behind. It's flashing still. It's almost like they don't know what to do with it. But what is interesting is there's some blue-ish test tubes around the pager that you could actually argue could be the, the Captain America super soldier serum or something like that. I mean, instead of watching the movie like a second and third time, uh, it will be hard to break it down properly because yes, there are leaks on the internet of this, but they're not of such a high grade level where you can actually tell what is going on properly. So what is interesting is during this little post credit scene, the Thanos music played that was the same music during some of the Thanos scenes during Infinity War. Black Widow and the Winter Soldier both say, this is a nightmare. And she responds, I've had better nightmares. And then War Machine walks in and said, that thing just stopped doing what it was doing before. It's worth noting that Bruce Banner, who does play the Hulk, is also in this scene. So you were getting the same vibe that you got from the first trailer when they were at the Avengers HQ that we only seen Black Widow, Captain America, Bruce Banner and War Machine. But I still think this is a scene fabricated specifically just for this movie because they're not going to ruin Captain Marvel's intro into Avengers 4, Avengers Endgame during this scene. So I think it's fabricated based on the way that Captain Marvel and actually Chris Evans looks because he looks hella skinny. Captain America, reboot it, send the signal again. We don't even know what this thing is. So they are really trying to put the empathy on the fact that the page is there to make you remember Avengers Infinity War, Nick Fury ending its scene. And they pull on the heartstrings again. Black Widow, Fury knew what it was. Send the signal again. So they are trying to get the pager to reach whoever is on the other side. Us being the audience, we know that it's Captain Marvel and we know exactly what is coming up. This scene was so basic, yet it was kind of efficient because it's got the internet talking about this Avengers Endgame setup that I only see think is a fake scene and it's fabricated and we won't even see this inside Avengers Endgame. I want to know who's on the other end of that signal. And then Black Widow turns around and who is it? Brie Larson, Captain 
Marvel. But why I think this scene isn't 100% truthful is if you watched it in the cinema, most people haven't watched it yet. So they're watching it online thinking they've watched the movie. But she looks very different to the way the movie ended in terms of her physical appearance. And then Captain Marvel says, where's Fury? Then it cuts to black and it says Captain Marvel will return in Avengers Endgame. Just like it said, Thanos will return in Avengers Endgame. But like I said, guys, if you haven't actually watched the movie, you've got no context of how Nick Fury even got the pager. So this is pretty much a quite in-depth talk about the first post-credit scene. Now, the second post-credit scene is very interesting. So Goose the Cat, who is actually an alien furkling, or fur king, it depends how you pronounce it. So essentially, during the movie, he gobbled up six to seven people, which was absolutely hilarious. And obviously, if you've watched the movie, well, I gave a spoiler warning, so you can't say anything. So essentially, during the movie the main premise of this whole movie is essentially to find this energy source that we find out that Marvel had in her secret location that was outside of earth and it was hidden but obviously Captain Marvel knew exactly where to look for it it essentially was the Tesseract which is the space stone and that's what the Kree are after so essentially what happens is Goose the Cat swallows it up and then at the end of the movie we don't know where it is, but as the audience knows where it is, Nick Fury knows where it is. He knows not to trust somebody again because they lost an eye in a kind of mediocre way. And then Agent Coulson comes in and asks where it is. He's like, no idea where it is. And then we get a Goose the Cat post credit scene. So essentially what happens is he essentially spits out the Tesseract Space Stone the blue stone, infinity stone, depending on what you want to call it. He essentially just bits it out, which is pretty interesting. Because as we know, this stone, it's linked to Project Pegasus. It's got a big heritage throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it was an interesting one. Because they're not really explained where Goose the Cat actually is. Is he dead? Have we seen him? It's very. It's going to be very interesting to see if Goose reappears with Captain Marvel. Because obviously in the comics, this cat is Carol Danvers' cat. So is the cat going to reappear when she reappears on Earth? And then obviously at the end of the movie, she goes back to settle a score that she has. So it makes sense why she's not been on Earth all this time. So essentially, you could realistically say both the post credit scenes don't really mean anything because we've obviously seen the Tesseract, we've seen the Space Stone throughout the whole of the MCU history. But we get a really good indication of where it comes from. But obviously, as we know, essentially, Captain Marvel's powers come from the stone. It is very important. But guys, like I said, the Avengers Endgame tag to this movie, it's fabricated, it's fake. It doesn't really make any sense why they would show you that. It's to hype up Endgame. Like I said, Brie Larson looks very different. Chris Evans looks like he's dropped about 20 pounds from, from Avengers Infinity War. But if this was shot concurrently with Avengers 3 and 4, his physique would still be there. Obviously, these actors are on a pretty, well, not really intense. It's just like a normal person that works out schedule. So it's not really that hard to keep muscle all year if you do work out, if you sleep right, if you train right. So he looks very different. Is it the decimation? Has the decimation created such a bad thing that he's lost or he doesn't like but obviously he's on the super serum so his body shape would not change so that is why i think this was done pretty recently it wasn't that long ago so guys let me know in the comments down below i don't really think this has any kind of indication of what's coming for endgame i don't think they're going to ruin how captain marvel appears in the mcu i don't believe she just reappears but what is interesting is the leaked scenes were actually correct, but like I said, they didn't give any context. If you haven't actually watched the movie, it, it wouldn't really make any sense because you still don't know how did Nick Fury get this pager? Why did he decide? It kind of told you that during the movie, but like I said, guys, we've actually watched the movie. We're not like some other, I guess you could say, blog websites or YouTubers or whatever. They're talking about something they've not seen. So we've actually seen the scene ourselves with my own eyes. So we can talk about it in more depth because if you don't understand how Goose actually gets the Cosmic Cube and why he gets it, essentially, to stop the Kree from getting it, it doesn't really make any kind of sense as the overall kind of 
platform, so to speak. So like always, guys, if you do have any more questions about the post credit scenes, just drop them down below. But like I said, guys, they realistically don't even mean a single thing. But like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya on my house. <laughs>